Hello Libra, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 10th of December. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. This week begins with Venus, your ruler, edging into a very positive alliance with Saturn. Now you wouldn't normally put these two together in a positive context because of course Saturn is quite a obstacle in terms of its influence very often. But Venus in your second solar house, linking with Saturn like this, can see you pretty shrewd. And when it comes to spending on Christmas presents, you can balance your appreciation of great taste and even value against what you can truly afford. It's also possible that you can use your talent and creativity in some kind of artistic way around the gifts you're going to be given. But Venus is also forging a great angle to Jupiter. Jupiter's in the part of your scope to do with your personal communication and is joined this week on Thursday by Mercury. Now Mercury, of course, left Sagittarius at the end of November, so this return is very welcome for you. The retrograde that was going on until the 5th of December is not going to completely unravel in terms of when the retrograde began until Christmas Eve. But I think Mercury returning to Sagittarius this, this week and Jupiter's link with Venus suggests you can use your natural communicational skills to great effect. Perhaps you're going to bargain with someone to get a good deal if you are doing some last minute Christmas shopping. But your appreciation of the good things in life, especially linked to technology, is actually going to be heightened by this combination. Now the Sun in Sagittarius is forging a fine link with Pluto. It's possible that if there have been strains in your family, some kind of conversation can happen this week which can put things on a better footing. I must stress, however, that it is going to be important to have realistic expectations. There's a sense that since 2012, you've been doing a lot of giving and a lot of sacrificing. And the quarter moon, which occurs at the end of this week, once more flags up a need to really reinforce your boundaries about what you will and won't do. Even the first half of this week could see you tempted or even persuaded by someone's charm to help them out when really they should be taking a bit more responsibility. But the quarter moon in Pisces just suggests that your nervous system is still going to be a little fragile. So don't overdo it. That's the inference from this particular lunation. If you'd like to order your year 2019 personal horoscope forecast based on your time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. But for now, I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video. Or if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.